So welcome back everybody, Mike here. It's another beautiful day. It's Saturday morning and I got up early, took a little ride up to the lake and I took my uh, daughter's car. This is a Subaru Crosstrek. And uh, I've been wanting to do a review on this thing and I have an apology here later on for Subaru owners and actually the company of Subaru. And I'll explain it in a little bit. But anyway, this car is a 2016 and uh, the way we got this car, see my daughter was going to school out west and she had saved some money, quite a bit of money really, for a nice used car. So my wife and I, we traveled out about two weeks before my daughter was to get you know, moved into school and we got to see a bunch of sites but while we were out there we were looking for a used car and everything out west, I mean the bodies were in great shape, they don't rust like they do here in the east. But the mileage, I mean, like a low mileage car is like 150,000 miles. And uh, so we thought it would be best. We, we took her money that she had for the used car, and then we ended up helping out and just bought a new car. And uh, I looked all different makes and models, you know, over a two-week span, trying to figure out what to get. And uh, I ended up with a Subaru. I mean, it's all-wheel drive, and they have a pretty good reputation, but I had never owned one before. And so I didn't know what to expect. And I'll be honest, I thought Subarus all along, maybe I'm a little judgmental here, but I thought Subarus were only for like young hippie type people and like really, really old people. And I'm neither. You know what I'm saying? And then there's that, that group in there that buys this WRXs. I guess they're a fast little car, uh, but it's not a V8. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just me. But anyway. So we got this Subaru, and I've actually only driven this car about four times. A couple trips to the store, but when my daughter came back from college, I didn't really want her driving you know, back across the country by herself. So I flew out, and then uh, she flew back. I had like a week off of work, and I took a week just to see some sights. Went to Moab, Utah. So... Although I've only driven it four or five times, the one trip was about 2,500 miles from Idaho to Pennsylvania. And that was through, down through Utah, uh, then like Grand Junction, Colorado, saw a few things in Colorado, then Kansas, what are all those states. I'm telling you, it was a long trip. But the Subaru worked flawlessly. And I had it all loaded up with our stuff from college, and I got about 31 miles to the gallon coming home now these are not powerhouses I mean it's got a hundred and forty eight horsepower four-cylinder uh, it's a two-liter with like hundred and forty five foot-pounds of torque but it doesn't feel like that when you're driving it I mean it, it, it's got plenty of power just for running around uh, now when I was coming back from out west like Vail Pass in Colorado yeah, you wanted some more horsepower, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dead cars along that highway trying to get up that mountain. But no, it did really well. And uh, now if they were to put like a turbo in this thing, that would be a nice little car. But I mean, it's good the way it is. But uh, anyway, when I get home, I'll give you a look on the inside, outside, and talk a little bit more about this thing. See you in a bit. Give you a look on the inside here. Now these cross treks come in, you know, several different packages. This is one of the uh, least expensive. However, it has all the essentials. I think it's got cruise control, Bluetooth, heated seats, uh, rear backup camera. You know, pretty much power windows, anything that you really need. You know, if you're out to buy a luxury car, you're not going to be looking for a twenty-three thousand dollar Subaru. But uh, for the price. It's a pretty nice car. Seats are very comfortable. And I like how it sits up a little bit too. It's got 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty nice. For over rough roads, or just I just like vehicles that sit up a little bit more. Back seat has plenty of room, you know, for a small vehicle. Very nice. We'll move around here to the cargo area in the back. Came with this rubber mat, which is pretty cool. It's got this cargo cover in the back, if you care to use that. 
back seat folds flat. When I uh, moved my daughter back, we fit a pile of stuff in this car, and I still got 31 miles to the gallon. Tell we're from Pittsburgh. Got yourself a little Penguins Cup right here. North of Pittsburgh. Yinzers. Come around to the powerhouse here in the front. Here you've got your uh, here you've got your two-liter four-cylinder engine. Check this out for a uh, oil filter. Is that nice? We'll change that. Pretty easy. But all in all, I am very happy with this car. I mean, I'm happy for my daughter that she has it. Uh, it goes great in the snow. Subaru's all-wheel drive system is legendary. Something worth a mention. Not a uh, deal killer or anything. Look at this here. This is your hazard lights. We used to call that your blinkers back in the day. But anyway, so here's me, right? I'm driving back across. Uh, I was in Kansas. You reach up here for something. You bump that thing and you turn it on. There's me driving like 100 miles across Kansas. People looking at me like something's wrong. And I had no idea. So that's kind of like a, uh, they definitely want you to know where the hazard switch is. Because there it is. So like I said earlier, I always thought Subarus were for, not for, but were bought by like young hippie type people and like old people, really old people. And I never considered them. Well, let me tell you something, it's a nice car. So the young hippie type and the real old people, they know a little something about picking cars in my opinion, I guess. I don't know, but it's a great car. Uh, I like it, it's got the 8.7 inches of ground clearance that's nice uh, plenty of room inside good mileage it rides really nice it handles nice on the roads it's kind of got like a stiff rigid suspension which I like it's not like cruising around in an old Buick or something it feels tight and stiff I like that in a suspension uh, but you know I'm I'm a Jeep kind of guy and a pickup kind of guy and uh, but if I had to have a vehicle like to drive back and forth to work every day I would consider one of these. Actually, I, I already did consider I would get one of these. Uh, I mean, it'll get you there in any kind of weather. We live in the northeast here. Some winters are pretty bad. Other winters aren't so bad. You get freezing rain, snow, uh, sleet. Uh, but this would be a great car just to crank the miles up on. Uh, you can't beat it. But anyway, if you enjoy these videos, click subscribe. This one's a little different than what I normally do. Normally, it's about rural living. Uh, you know, tractors, chainsaws, firewooding, deer hunting. So if you live in the city and you're considering buying some land and getting out of that place, subscribe to this channel. You'll know everything you need to know. But anyway, that's it. And uh, take care. And thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. I'll put a link to our Facebook page in the uh, description if you'd like to like that. And it's a pretty easy way to communicate there. But anyway, take care. Thanks.